talking about tools, let's talk about your gear. That's so nice. Drums. Yes. What is it? I recently made a switch to Mapex. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, recently, I mean, like really recently, like for Mesa, okay? Be oh, right. But I, I, of course, I informed myself and I was following them for years and I checked everything. So, um, right now, I'm actually playing a Saturn IV, not even a new one. And it sounds amazing. Everybody's freaking out. It's a fantastic drum. Uh, and that for, for a street price, I don't even know what, but it, it doesn't really cost a lot of money. It's a very affordable drum. Sounds incredible. But I will probably get a, a, a Black Panther, mm -hmm. probably a Black Widow mm -hmm. in, in the sizes yeah. that I want to have. Right. And Mapex so was is it your actually, was it your first public performance? My first public performance for Mapex, that for yeah. sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But of course I tested stuff, I had them in the okay. studio. And um, yeah. I've been following them very closely for years. Yeah. And to what? me, it's the, the one brand that really evolved mm -hmm. like nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know, they really pay attention to details and this is some, just something I like. Yeah. Yeah. What's the configuration no, here? It's another thing. I find myself going back more and more and more to a very basic five piece, you know, like, and seriously, like Tom's on the bass drum. Yeah. As that, classic yeah. as it gets. One bass drum, because I anyways play double pedal, and the second no, bass drum is just for optics. For show, yeah. Right, for show. So, um... Then of course at Mesa, you, you, you want to have something nice for people to look at. It's, uh, we're also, sure. you want to present something. So uh, they, they talked me into having the second bass drum. And I said, well, if I have a second bass drum, I don't want to put the toms in the middle. So we have to put the third tom on there. So I'm having the eight now for, basically also just for, for reasons of, of look and, and symmetry. So I'm perfectly fine in the last few years for playing 22, 10, 12, mm -hmm. 16 actually. Right. But okay. depending on the gig and the stage mm -hmm. size and everything, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. I just open the setup, yes. you know. Right. But the thing is, when I look at a drum setup, I see triangles. Mm -hmm. That's what I actually see when okay. I look at a setup. So they don't change. Mm -hmm. Like I have my, I have the snare, I have the 12 and I have the 16. Right. And that's a triangle, you know. Or um, the symbols, they make, they, they all make that shape. Yeah. And if I add one more here or there, it doesn't really change so much. Right. Yeah. Mm. You know? That's a good way to look at it. It also very helpful, um, it's a very helpful tool to memorize mm -hmm. numbers. Right. And I learned that with Mac on Delta. And it's actually a thing from Mike Mangini. Yeah. So let's say you, um, you have to play something six times, but you, let's say you play an 11, 16, yeah. and you have to play that six times against somebody playing something completely different. Highly confusing. Yeah. You're actually having a hard time already playing that 11 at that yeah. tempo. Then you're supposed to know, did I play it four times, five times, or six times? It's highly disturbing. Or seven times, maybe it's seven times, it's even worse, right? So what you do is you pick a triangle on your drum, and you end the phrase, mm -hmm. you end the first phrase on the snare, yeah. the next phrase, yeah. that tom, the next phrase and that tom. You repeat that cycle two times, you know, by the time I'm the yeah. second time on my yeah. floor tom, yeah. this has been six repetitions. Yeah. If I go one more, it's the seventh. So you don't have to count. Mm -hmm. right. You concentrate on the playing and you just have to concentrate on that one shift at the end, which always yeah. also is a nice musical change, like yeah. a tiny little change. Yeah. It makes sense. So that's why these, yeah. you know, these shapes yeah. make a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah. Gavin Marison always says that he just, you know, hums the riff. It doesn't even count. Of course, never count. Yeah. It's, it's always the same thing. People ask me uh, what, what time signature is, and then I have to actually mm -hmm. count it. Like, wait a second, is, I guess yeah. it's this or that. Yeah. You kind of know if, yeah. it's, if it's like, um, like a natural yeah. time signature, meaning like one that has a, a number lower than the, yeah. you know, than the eighth note or something or if it's like an unnatural one like 11 8 you know that but you could think it's 10 but actually it's 11 yeah. something it's it's a weird yeah. you know true okay what are the skins you like to put on your drums uh that's another it's like i wish i could give more definite answers sometimes <laughs> but the problem is i love single ply hats mm -hmm. all right if in a perfect world yeah. i would play a single ply hat that lasts as long as a double ply hat right. and they don't they don't and it's just, uh, I already have, I use up way too many hats, mm -hmm. even two plies. Mm -hmm. So I just can't go for single plies yeah. economically on a tour or something. It's just not possible. Yeah. Nobody would send me that amount of hats. They would say, Alex, you know, yeah. 
no way yeah. okay so a perfect all-around head would always be like an emperor yeah. sure like clear emperor you can't go wrong with that you know <laughs> but i really really like those ambassador x from from remo mm -hmm. they're single ply but a little thicker yeah. and it almost works for me yeah. it, you know it's that I can get them to last a little longer maybe then then I could switch to those so I would use that on the toms bass drum power stroke it's kind of boring but it works for me snare same thing I like am ambassadors coated but life I would then go for for an Emperor X again mm -hmm. with a, with a mm -hmm. dot yeah. underneath symbols symbols some of my favorite things yeah. basically my favorite thing actually on the drum I love symbols and yeah. and here's the thing um, it's a uh, how can I say that? I always loved Zildjian cymbals, okay? It's like, I'm, I'm the happiest guy in the world now that I made that switch. But then that's, of course, I played another brand before, and it's like with cars. I mean, Audi, Mercedes, BMW, it's all great cars. Yeah. So it's not like one is necessarily better than the other yeah. or anything. But it's just a matter of feeling. Yeah. You, you have some sort of attachment to a company, you believe yeah. in what they do. Yeah. And especially with Zildjian, it's the thing that uh, there is, to me, there is no company like that in, the, in all of percussion. I mean, it's the oldest uh, company in America, mm. the oldest family-run business. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I talked with them the other day, they didn't know that. Um, Richard Wagner, the great yeah. German composer, he insisted on Zildjian's being oh, really? used. Yeah, specifically. Mm. It, it's a history like nothing in the world, yeah. you know? You, I, you're part of a history. If you hear that that symbol, right. you're like in the line yeah. of, of, a, of a long history. So That's I love true. those. And what I'm using, um, I'm using the K Custom Hybrids. Again, it's a little untypical for metal. You would yeah. think that, and I, of course, I, I told them I might actually need A Custom Heavies, and they sent them to me. But I love the way these, these K Customs, the way they open up. Yeah. Because I guess in my taste, I'm not a typical metal drummer, I, as I told you. I love Steve Smith and yeah. stuff, you know. And I want to go for a symbol that, that is musical, yeah. you know. That, that opens up even at a low volume and that it then doesn't distort if you go higher. I, and they, they do all that for me. So I'm Is that the regular 14 or is it that one 14.25 inch size? Because I've played that one and it was really sweet. It's that one. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Amazing Unbelievable, symbol. and the, the right symbol, yeah. you should, um, what are, what's it called, K Custom Hybrid 20, 20 inch, I don't know if it has some extra mm -hmm. in the name, mm -hmm. I have to look at it again, yeah. I think it's just that, and the thing is, I never thought something like that existed, yeah. it is a perfect right and a perfect crash, yeah. it's not like an okay right and an okay crash, yeah. which usually those symbols are, yeah. it's the, the bell is just yeah. cutting through, oh, yeah. amazing, yeah. and then you crash it, yeah. And it's a perfect crash and yeah. it saves you all that space you have it there and you, if you wanted to you could play a whole show on that mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. yeah. unbelievable okay crashes yeah crashes same thing i go for the it's all kick us oh, yeah okay um so China, i um, splashes same thing well a splash not really using a splash on its own right now i have them in stacks oh yeah so um just tried some combinations and and, and then see how they work for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, China, it's, it's K-Custom what I'm using here, but I'm also using a regular K a lot mm -hmm. for China. Okay. And Splashes, I have an A-Custom 8-inch, very, I mean, that's like the, yeah. the splash to end all splashes, yeah. it's just yeah. there, it's yeah. perfect, you know. Yeah. That's an A-Custom for me. And I like the A-Customs, actually, the normal ones, not the heavy ones, I like them too, but yeah. the normal A-Customs, they're fantastic too. But I just fell in love with the, with the K-Customs. Yeah. That's the way it is. Six Vader. Mm -hmm. um, this, is a, this is a cool thing. I always played Vader from little on. Oh, yeah. My bunch was whatever. My teacher gave them to me, yeah. and I stick to them. And I remember at Mesa, I was a little boy, and Alan Vader. He he just gave me a pair for free. He just we talked a little bit, mm -hmm. and it, and that was so sweet. And I just I don't know. I always felt yeah. attached to them. Yeah. And with yes. Vader, I actually waited a few years, and I kept buying sticks mm -hmm. until I actually was able to get a Vader deal. Yeah. And I, I, I had offers already and said, no, I don't want to. Because sticks, sticks and pellets, you're playing, you're actually playing you with that stuff. You have to be 100% sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, um, it's really the stuff that you actually play with, what you have in your hands. Yeah. And it's, it's something you got to trust. True. Yeah. And you're going to like. And I'm yeah. playing a 5A stretch. Mm -hmm. And 
the thing about the 5A stretch is much, much, a little thicker than a 5A, longer, heavier. So you get the feel of a 5B somehow, but you have more reach. And they're a little thinner, and that just, it works for me. Technically, I can do, I can play a little more delicate things with them, and they still, they don't break. Right. Which is fantastic, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so...